Well, hey, you guys. Look at all of you. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church Online. Let's start with a question. Are you ready? Wait, ready for what? Ready to laugh? (laughs) Ready to worship? Me, me, me. Ready to learn about God and how much he loves you? You guys, trust me, it's a lot. Ready for games? Game time! Hey! Game time! Ready to laugh? (laughs) No, you still have to wait until the end for that. You guys know how happy we are that you join us online, right? It makes us really happy. But do you know what would also make us happy? Seeing you here. Right here with us in Igorot. It's just not the same without you. But whether you're in person or online, do you know what time it is? It's time to get the party started. It's time for Kids Church. Time for Kids Church. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Kids Church? Welcome back to our kid interview. Today we have with us Ava. Ava, tell Kids Church hi. Hey. All right. So Ava, let's let's jump in. Our first question, I guess our first questions are, how old are you? When is your birthday? And what grade are you in? I'm eight years old. I'm in second grade. And my birthday is in April 8th, 2014. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And it looks like we're already in your room. So can you show us your favorite thing from your room? Yes, there's two things. So I got these, uh, I got this kitty unicorn that makes noise. And I got the teacup dog. Wow! Come on, girl! Oh, that's awesome! Okay, do they have, have you named them? Yeah, this one's Starlight and this one's Moonlight. Okay, thank you for showing us, Ava. Okay, next question. What would you like to do when you grow up? Be a vet because I can help um, any animal who is sick and take care of them to be healthy. Oh, I'm seeing the animal theme here and I like it. And I love that you like to take care of things and help, um, help dogs and cats and animals and I love that you get to take care of God's creation that way. That's really awesome, Ava. I hope that um, as you grow up, that you get to you get to do that. All right. <laughs> Next question. What are three words that best describe you? Okay. Describe me is like curious. Okay. And grateful. Yes. And being fun with other kids. Okay. Uh, Curious. And then your second one was grateful and having fun with other kids. I like that. And I like that God has made you so unique and so amazing. And thank you for sharing with us. Ava, if you could have any superpower in the entire world, what would it be? Um, Invisible. Invisible. So I can see what... So I can see my mom's password. (laughs) Okay. Of me. Because would you want to get on the computer or on her phone? Um, I have an iPad that's hers, but she lets me go on it like for one hour. Okay. And what her password is. Okay, so you so you can go on it all the time. Yeah. (laughs) That's funny. Do you have like a game that you play on on the iPad? Play Roblox a lot. Roblox. Love it. Okay, this is our last question. Our, our kid interview has gone by so quickly. Um, if you could say anything uh, to Kids Church to encourage us, what would you say? I would say, when you're alone and you think no one's here with you, God is always here when you don't see it. Mm. Thank you so much, Ava, for the encouragement that even if you feel like, like you're alone, that God is always with you, even if you don't see him. So thank you, Ava, that's so wonderful. All right, Ava, we have one last thing to do. What is it? Game time. All right, count us down. Three, two, one. Game time.
Welcoming your contestant, Trey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, let's go, hey. MJ. Hey, hey wait for it. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Guys, how are you all doing today? You guys good? Nice, nice, nice. Trey, how are you doing today? Man, I am doing excellent. I also am loving the... Kobe Bryant jersey you got there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, welcome back to Kids Church. You are all in for a very special treat. Me and Trey are gonna go head to head in a game called Know It All, all right? Yes, Know It All, Know It All. Now, this is how we will all play. There will be six categories that we will get to choose from. And then once we pick a category, we will have 20 seconds each to try and list off as many things within that category, all right? We, we will all have a, we have a timer on our phone. We're basically gonna use this like a chess timer. So I'm gonna say something, press pause, and then same thing for Trey, he'll say something, press pause, all right? And we're gonna keep going until, you know, until our, our timer basically runs out. All right, guys, well, I guess, let's see who will win. Know it all! All right, guys, you all see on the screen the six categories, all right? And the first category I will pick will be pizza toppings. Pizza toppings will be the first one. All right, how you feeling about that, Jerry? All right, I, th I think I'm ready. I like pizza. I think I've got some toppings on my head, in my head. I will go first, pepperoni. Cheese. Uh, sausage. Mushrooms. Pi uh, pineapples. Ham. Uh, jalapeno peppers. Um, bell peppers. Uh, 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 spinach. Prosciutto. Say what? Oh, come on. Come on! Come on! Let's go! We we technically can make up something within the category, but the other person can challenge, alright? I was this close to challenging Trey on what did you say? Prosciutto. What is that? It's it's a meat. Sweet. Come on, man! <laughs> Our second round will be Disney movies. Alright. <laughs> Lion King. Toy Story. Uh, Toy Story 2, bruh. What? <laughs> Mulan. Inside Out. Monsters, Inc. Um, Finding Dory. Finding Nemo. Um, uh, Snow White. Cinderella. Uh, Oh no, oh no, oh no! Why am I blanking? Why am I blanking? No! <laughs> Let's go with uh, superheroes. Superheroes will be the next one. I will go first. Here we go. Black Panther. Superman. Spider Man. Batman. Superman. Oh, what? Uh, 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 Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh. Um, why am I, what? Uh, uh, Iron Man, oh my gosh! The Hulk. Hawkeye. Captain America. Robin. Uh, Storm. Wolverine. Oh no! Uh -oh. Um, Captain Marvel! Woo! 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 Um, uh, no! Yes, sir! <laughs> hey, hey, no! Pressure! No. Oh hey. my god! I literally have one second left on my on my The thing. pressure is real, dude. The pressure is real. All right. Well, guys, that was fun. I don't really have a a, a thank you speech, but I, I would like to thank my mom. I would like to <laughs> like to thank my dad. I'd like to thank my sisters back at home and oh. my 12-year-old my nephew. Thank you, guys. This wouldn't be possible without you all. And of course, I'd like to thank you. So thank you. 
<laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of Kids Church. Hi, Kids Church. Now, in just a minute, we're going to worship God with our singing, which, as you guys know, it's one of my very favorite ways to worship. And I'm really glad that whether we're at home or here in Eagle Rock, we can worship God this way. And we also, just because we're home, it doesn't stop us from worshiping God with our offering. We know it's a good thing to worship God by giving Him our money. He's asked us to do it, and we know that He only asks us to do things that are good. One of the reasons that giving a portion of our money is good is that it reminds us that God is more important than anything else in our lives. It also helps us remember to be thankful. It helps us remember where everything that we have comes from. It also helps us grow in the ways that we trust God to provide for us, that He'll provide everything that we need. So as we worship God with our voices over the next few minutes, I encourage you to also bring Him your worship offering. reason why my feet can't stop my heart can't help but sing it's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me to feel the joy you bring your love is the answer so I sing to you the reason is you Jesus Set me free And I'm thankful that you love me Whoa. Oh, 
What's up, Casey family? How are you guys doing today? You guys good? Amazing. Guys, I'm so glad you all are joining us online. Though, before we get started today, I just wanted to say that if you are in the LA area, I wanted to personally invite you to our kids' church service here in person at Christian Assembly, okay? I would love to see you. Now, as always, I wanted to ask you all a question, or more so, I have a task for you guys, okay? Can you all unscramble this word? Wow, great job, guys. Yes, the word is trophy. Can you all say trophy? There we go. Now, raise your hand if you ever gotten a trophy for anything before. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Great job, great job. Now, speaking of trophy, today's Bible story is a very dramatic story, okay? It includes a mammoth idol that was almost like a humongous trophy, okay? A worshiping mob, a furious king, a fiery furnace, and three brave young men of faith whom God rescues from certain death, okay? Now, King Nebuchadnezzar has constructed an idol of gold that is 90 feet high. Can you all do that with me? 90 feet high and nine feet wide, all right? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, whether this image is meant to represent the king himself or whether it represents some Babylonian god, guys, it is clearly an idol, right? Now, the three friends who prayed with Daniel in our last story last week, right, are featured in chapter three of Daniel. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Can you all say that with me? 
Shadrach, Meshach, and yes, Abednego. Okay. Now today's today's story is another reminder that even though the Bible book is called Daniel, right? The most important character in all these stories is God. Yes. Let's dive into our story today as we take a look at our video. Here we go. Stories of the Bible, the fiery furnace. There once were three Jewish men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hey! When they were very young, they were taken from Israel to live in a place called Babylon. At that time, the king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. That's it. Almost there. And he made a gold statue that was 90 feet tall. Perfect. The king sent a message for everyone to come to the dedication of his statue. When everyone had assembled, <laughs> it was declared that people of all races, nations, and languages would bow before the statue and worship King Nebuchadnezzar's statue when they heard the sound of musical instruments. If anyone refused, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. So at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people bowed to the ground and worshiped. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not because they were Jewish and would only bow to the one true God. Some of the wise men of Babylon went to the king and told him that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the statue. What? This made the king very angry, and he asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if it was true that they would not bow to the statue. Then he said he would give them one more chance to bow down, and if they did not bow, they will be thrown into the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied that they didn't need to defend themselves against the king. They said, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. Ah! The king was so angry with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that he commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Then he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be bound and thrown in the fire. The fire was so hot that it killed the soldiers that threw them in. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the flames. But suddenly, the king jumped up and said to his advisors, didn't we tie up three men and throw him in the furnace? The advisor said, yes. But the king said, look, I see four men walking around the fire and the fourth looks like a god. Then the king shouted to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire and everyone saw that the fire had not touched them. They didn't even smell of smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar praised the one true God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had rescued them from the fire. And the king made a new command that anyone who spoke a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be greatly punished. Then he promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in his court. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God and were willing to die rather than worship any god but their own god. Wow. Guys, what a story today. What faith these guys had. Can you guys just, just, just think for a second. What do you think it would have been like to be Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in today's story? How would you feel if you were asked to bow down to the golden statue? How would you have felt in that moment? Guys, as a group, I'm going to give you all some time to go over some questions together, okay? Here we go.
Guys, two thumbs up. Great job. Great job. Guys, just as God was with, was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the furnace, God is with us in, t- in times like these as well, right? And just as the three friends stood together, we have friends in Christ to pray and stand with us. Guys, isn't that amazing? Can we all say amen? Say amen. One more time. Say amen. There we go. Guys, let's read Psalm 100 together. Shout for joy to the Lord, everyone on earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come to him with songs of joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are the sheep belonging to his flock. Give thanks as you enter the gates of his temple. Give praise as you enter his courtyards. Give thanks to him and praise his name. The Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever. It will last for all time to come. Casey found, we worship the living God who provides all of creation for us and cares about our bodies, minds, souls, and hearts, right? Who loves us so much, guys, that he sent his only son, Jesus, to save us. Guys, we don't worship a God who threatens us to get us to worship, right? Now, before we close today, let's be honest. Guys, I know it can be hard to do the right thing and obey God. But the good news, can you all say good news? Yes. The good news is that we have a helper in the Holy Spirit that will help us when we are asked to obey him, right? To obey God. So what does it look like for you to obey God? It can look like what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did, right? They stood up for what they knew was right. I personally know how difficult it can be sometimes to stand firm in my faith when I'm faced with difficult situations. We might be afraid of being made fun of or or people looking at us differently. But guys, here's the thing. No one can affirm you like God already has. No one can love me like God already has, right? And continues to do so every day. So guys, that gives me the faith to continue to stand firm in my faith. Even when I face obstacles, because when I experience God's love, I ultimately want others to know and experience God as well, even if they don't know it at that moment. Guys, our memory verse this month is 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. It says this, suppose I speak in languages of human beings or of of angels. If I don't have love, I am only a loud gong or a noisy cymbal. Suppose I have the gift of prophecy. Suppose I can understand all the secret things of God, know everything about him. And suppose I have enough faith to move mountains. If I don't have love, I am nothing at all. Suppose I give everything I have to poor people. And suppose I give myself over to a difficult life so I can brag. If I don't have love, I get nothing at all. Guys, my favorite part about today's story is this. But we want you to know this, your majesty. Even if we knew that our God wouldn't save us, we still wouldn't serve your gods. We wouldn't worship the gold statue you set up. These guys were very much aware that they could die. But guys, they still stood firm in their faith and spoke to the king with respect. Guys, when we believe in Jesus and trust our lives to God, we are also referred to as ambassadors for Christ. Can you all say that with me? Ambassadors for Christ. Do you all know what an, what an ambassador is? Guys, an ambassador means to be an authorized representative or messenger. As ambassadors for Christ, guys, let's always try our best to speak and treat others with dignity, love, and respect, even in tough situations. In those moments, guys, let's continue to ask God and the Holy Spirit for help, okay? Let's remember where our help comes from. You all have been amazing listeners today. Let's close our time asking asking God to give us strength and courage to live out our faith in front of others, all right? Let's all pray. God, thank you so much, Lord, for this day. Thank you for everyone listening right now, Lord. God, I just pray that you bless them, um, encourage them, and remind them, Lord, where the help comes from, Lord. Um, God, when we're faced with, with, with uncomfortable situations, tough situations, Lord, where you were calling us, Lord, to stand firm in our faith, Lord. And in those moments, may you just give us the strength, Lord, to do that. And also remind us, Lord, of the love that that you've given us and and the love that you want us to extend to those around us, Lord, that even in standing firm, Lord, that we can do that, standing firm in our faith. God, thank you again for everything that you've done for us, Lord, and that you continue to do for us. We pray all this in your precious name. Amen. I hope you all have an amazing day, all right? Peace. Hi, friends. We hope you enjoyed today's Kids Church family experience. I was thinking of this the other day. Ready? I am so simple that I can only point, yet I guide people all over the world. What am I? A compass. 
Have a great week, everyone.